What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 79 of Autodesk Fusion. Today is going to be a little bit different. Um, as we're wrapping up this 100 days of Fusion, I'm going to start getting into some key components that allow you to, once we've made our object, what can we do next with it? How can we present it and how can we present it well? So the first thing I'm going to do is um, for students who are creating digital portfolios, you can download your parts as PDFs and make slideshows, but there's one really cool, neat feature. Unless you're looking for it, you probably won't find it. And that is the embed tool. So what embed allows you to do is allows you to take something from the internet and put it somewhere else within the internet. So here's what I got so far is we have our 100 days of uh, fusion. And what we got here is for day 79, I have an embedded piece of my automata file that is completely interactable to a certain extent, but allows you to see all the parts to it and allows you to even do an exploded model, which is a little bit of outside the physics, or, but lets you see what's still it's inside and uh, allows you to do, interact with this just a little bit. And so rather than just doing a PDF and having a, P, a PDF thrown up there, let's make an embed. And how are we going to do that exactly? Well, what I'm going to do first is uh, go to the piece on your Autodesk 360 account. Go ahead and click on that piece that you want to share. And then, uh, let's, actually, let's go ahead back and let's figure out. So log on, Auto, log on to Autodesk. Uh, then we find our piece that we want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this design. And now we're here. Now in the top right corner, you'll see the share icon, which is these three buttons connected. That's supposed to like symbolize people, a networking line. So I'm gonna click on share. There's a copy link and you can give this thing to anybody you want. And so you, you can share an email, put it public, up to you. But there is a feature in here for embed and also you can choose the embed size. Now, the one that best fits for Google Sites is this 800 by 600. It's not a perfect fit by any means, but it prevents us from doing having any HTML editing, and it works okay. So when you click on this medium size, we highlight everything. We copy this right here. This is what's called your HTML code, and it allows you to embed. So then you go to whatever platform you're going to do some embedding on. For me, it's going to be this uh, Google site. So I'm going to find my object and I'm going to go ahead and in Google site, if you double click and you'll see in the embed icon, it's usually just two brackets, it's a closed bracket system. Click on the embed code and paste it in there. This allows you to go ahead and have it fit approximately where you want it to be. So we already saw where it fit to scale in the site, but it was a little bit short on that width. So we can edit this code instead of being 800 pixels across. Let's go ahead and try to make it 900 and then click next. So the problem is, is that when you're looking at the web developer side of Google Sites, we can see that this preview isn't exactly the way it's going to be. So you're going to have to do some of the previews just to see what is this looking like and is it the size I need it to be. And so we see right here is that this is still, it's centered in the middle, but if you want to go all the way across, again, you have to edit that HTML code to kind of be what it needs to be. Again, you can embed this in Schoology, Canvas, a lot of different areas, but if you're making a digital platform, it'd be really cool if your portfolio shows uh, an interactive piece rather than just static pieces like PDFs and slideshows and things like that. All right, guys, if you have any questions on how to embed and how to, what to do with this further, uh, feel free to shoot any questions down in the comments. I will be kind of wrapping up this uh, whole 100-day series with some unique features on what you can do with your parts in Fusion and how they tie into the real world. All right, guys, that's it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, feel free to mark it down in the comments. And I will see you on the next video.